Welcome to Electron Online. So what happens when you combine charged objects? Like for example, here we have a conductor that has an extra 10 microcoulombs on its surface. We have a second conductor that has an extra minus 4 microcoulombs on its surface. Now we bring them together so that they touch and then we pull them apart again. What will be the result? Well, when we bring them together, that means there is free exchange of charges. The positive charges will be attracted to negative charges. The negative charges will be attracted to positive charges. But for every one positive charge, it will cancel out a negative charge. So four of these positive charges will cancel out these four negative charges, which will leave you an excess of six positive charges. And they will distribute themselves evenly on the two objects like this. So end up with three on one and three on the other for a total of six microcoulombs of positive charge. And then when, then when you pull them apart, they will each then have half of that six or three positive charges on each. So we have three microcoulombs of charge here and three microcoulombs of charge here. So each symbol here represents a microcoulomb of worth of charge. So what happens when we have these two objects? We have a a hollow shell, so we have, uh, this is conductor, metal, and there's a hollow inside right here, and we have a smaller object right here, which could fit into this big object. Now, this object has an excess of four microcoulombs, and they all will reside on the surface, and this object has an extra negative five microcoulombs on its surface. So now you place a small object inside the cavity of the bigger object, so what will happen? Well, these five charges, they can't go anywhere, so they will still be there, but now they will attract those positive charges on the outside will now be attracted down to the inner surface of that outside shell. And not, not just the four of them, but it will pull an additional positive charge so that you'll have a total of five positive charges residing on the inner surface of this, uh, of this hollow shell. Now, that means it pulled one, addic uh, one additional positive charge will leaves you a total of one negative charge on the outside. And of course, that would be evenly distributed, of course. I would have a small, small little pieces all adding up to one of these. And so what happens is you'll have on the very inner surface, and let me grab the, my pen here. So on this surface, you'll have a minus five microcoulombs. So let me draw an arrow. So this is minus five microcoulombs. So on this surface, you'll have a plus five microcoulombs. And on the outside surface here, we have a minus one microcoulomb. Notice that the total number of charges will still add up to what we started. The, the plus five and the minus one together give you the plus four and the minus five on the inside will still be the minus five, but that will be the new arrangement of how the charges are distributed on this particular object. And that is how it's done.